after looking at the film and sort of digesting how the spiders play, do you have any new opinions of, of how Richmond looked at Virginia? No, I just I told our team, and I felt like it after the game that we competed really well. I mean, the guys played and competed and, and worked hard to make plays. Uh, so I was proud of them for that. You know, we had some chances there in the third quarter to really get that thing close. Um, you know, we, we, you, you got to get every point you can get whenever you got a chance. You know, a couple fourth down conversions we didn't get uh, during the course of a game uh, are critical. You know, the, the ball probably needed to bounce our way once or twice. I'm not sure if it did. Um, but, you know, when you're, you're late in the third quarter and you got a chance to get it a one-score game, um, you know, I, I think that says a lot about our team there. Uh, is there anything specifically that led your to-do list going into this week and it really bugged you from Saturday? Well, uh, obviously rush lanes. Um, with our defensive line, and uh, that's going to be huge. Um, defensively, I, we got to tackle better defensively. I, I noticed, I mean, I said that after the game. Offensively, we got to generate big, big plays somehow. Um, we got to get more chunk yards uh, down the field. But, you know, our offensive efficiency was really good. Uh, yeah, like I said, no penalties, no turnovers. We got first downs. Um, but, it's, you know, it's hard when you, you know, you're always talking about every time you got to get a 10, 12 play drive. You know, sometimes you need the two or three play drives, and, and those are big chunk plays. So, you know, we'll work hard to try to, you know, to generate uh, some explosive plays offensively and then defensively rush lanes and, and, and tackling and get people on the ground. Hey, lastly for me, your recollections from that 2018 trip to uh, St. Francis and just the calamity that was that week. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, oh. Was yeah, it was pretty ugly there. I mean, obviously with the hurricane and um, and they weren't going to come down here with the hurricane. Um, and in the last minute making the decision to go up there um, was tough. You know, if I remember correctly, we had to stay in a couple different hotels uh, while we were up there. Um, one bus went south when everybody else was going north, um, which is never a good thing. Um, but, it, you know, it was, it was tough. It was a tough trip. It was, you know, it was kind of gloomy day. I, you know, just everything that, was, that would make it a, a tough atmosphere to play. Now, you know, give St. Francis a lot of credit. They had a good football team. I mean, they had really good players, um, and we fought and battled. And, and fortunately, we scored one late, but uh, they were good. Now, Coach, you mentioned uh, big plays on offense. After looking at the tape from Saturday, did you see opportunities that maybe it could have been there, or did the way UVA? played against your defense, limit that somewhat? Well, I think probably going in, and you might want to ask Josiah this question, I, I, I don't think we had shot plays in the game plan. And part of it was, can we protect long enough to get the ball thrown down the field against UVA? Uh, so you, you take all those things into consideration as you go into the game. You know, all right, it's, it's great. You know, we want to throw – different things down the field, but can you get it protected? And that may have been part of it. Could we protect long enough against UVA? You know, obviously, if we're going to do those things throughout the season, I mean, we got to have the ability to protect. Uh, but, um, you know, I think probably we executed our game plan probably the way we, we wanted to going into UVA. Uh, Coach Villarreal said earlier today to Bob and I that when he watched your tape, against UVA, your physicality jumped off the screen at him. Did you feel that you guys played as physical as you could, or is there some left in the tank for that as well? You know, our, we, we played um, – we, we didn't shy away, obviously. We, we got after it. Um, you know, I, I, I never once said – Walking out of there, boy, we're not a physical football team. I felt like, you know, we can play physical football. 
Uh, I don't know if we played the smartest we can play, but you know, I'm not worried about either side of the ball of being physical um, because I, I do know our guys. Um, you know, that's part of their DNA. They want to be a physical team on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, it was hard, um, you know, because v- Virginia was a pretty physical team too. And, um, you know, we came, we came out of that thing. We came out injury free, but we came out sore, man. Uh, so it was, I know a bunch of them were really, really sore. Um, and uh, so, I mean, when you play those kind of games, I mean, you come out sore. But we came out healthy, which is good. So we got everybody uh, that we need to have um, that played in that game will play this week. They played uh, two quarterbacks pretty much even throughout the entire game, and there's no real indication that they won't do that again this week. What is the challenge of preparing for a two-headed uh, threat at that position? Well, yeah, it's amazing because I think it wasn't just playing two quarterbacks. I think they played them every other series. Um, I, I didn't really study it tremendously close. But if, if I was just to look at it, I, I believe they played every other series no matter what. Whether it was a – you know, they didn't – I don't think they turned the ball over. I, I can't remember. So, I mean, it was never a one play, all right, you're, the next guy's in. It was – and there weren't many three and outs for them either. I mean, they moved the football on Akron. So, you know, each quarterback, you know, got their snaps, and it looked like they were pretty even. Uh, pretty similar skill sets. It looks like uh, one of the guys can run probably a little bit better than the other guy. But it doesn't look like they really changed their offense up just because one guy's in and one guy's not in. You know, it may be just a touch different, but nothing that, that says, all right, we got to – you know, sometimes you get a, a guy in there and that, that's all they're going to ru- do is run quarterback run, zone read, and, and the other guy's going to sit there and throw the football. I think these both these two have very similar skill sets. I think they both can throw the football really well. Um, so I, I just think they feel like they got two good quarterbacks and they're going to play them. And that's how – it's probably not the dumbest thing in the world either. I mean, you know, sometimes you say, all right, we're going to play this guy for two or three series and then bring the – I mean, I I don't know. I've never never done it like that, but um, it was pretty successful. They they looked really good against Akron, no question. Anything defensively, Russ, from them? I mean, they had six quarterback sacks against FBS teams. Yeah, they're they're really – they're, 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 for one, they, they, they're pretty physical. They play really, really hard. And that's, you know, that's the way they always – when we were in, in 2018, I mean, they were physical. They played hard. Um, you know, they play with an edge in all three phases. Um, but um, the, the one thing, too, is they do a lot on defense. So, you know, you, you got to you – Three down, four down, bear, uh, you know, different things, a lot of movement. I mean, you got to be really on top of things, especially up front offensively, to generate some things. And so, you know, the type of defense they play, a lot of negative yardage plays just because of all the movement and things like that. Um, but, you know, sometimes if, you're, if you don't have good players, you know, you can get gashed. And, I mean, they, they played – they played Akron really well, and you know to go overtime with a FBS school is 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 pretty good. I mean, so they uh, they got a good football team. How do you think uh, the whole thing came together Saturday, given the circumstances? You're at a ACC school, you've got a new coordinator, you got a new quarterback. It looked like it came off pretty clean. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree pretty well with that. Uh, as Coach said, you know, I feel like the ball was moved pretty efficiently and whatnot, but um, of course we're always looking to get better. Um, I feel like we could have had a few more explosive plays, but just as Coach said, uh, we, we faced a pretty good defensive line, so we had a, we had a little trouble with, uh, with with protecting our quarterback, but I'm sure that will be corrected in the near future. Ray, there's a lot of talk going into this game about the problems Richmond was going to have on the defensive line. Yeah. How do you think the Spiders handled 
Um, I think one thing that our defensive line did really well means we fought. You know, it wasn't like we our guys were getting blown out of the water. We had young guys up front, and they were holding their own. They were doing their job. Um, so that's one thing I like. We all took away from the game, like as a position group, is that you know we held our own. Obviously, there's problems. You know, that was a lot of starts for a lot of guys. You know, first time even playing. Like I mean, Carson, this was his first game playing defensive line. You know, at the collegiate level, so we'll clean the things up that we had problems with that game. I think we held our own pretty well against an FBS opponent, and I'm pretty happy with our performance. But uh, obviously, yep, keep building up towards every single game. Keep playing better. Josiah, St. Francis not a big name around these parts. I wonder if you might educate people a little bit in terms of uh, what the product looks like on tape. Um, yeah, I, I've obviously, you know, me being from Petersburg, Virginia, I've never really heard of uh, St. Francis University, but um, we defensively, at least, they, um, they, they're a real physical team. They, they, they got a, a great defensive coordinator who, who, uh, who, who gives a lot of looks. They, they can come out, at least coverage-wise, they can come out in any set possible. They can come out and cover four, cover one, a two-man robber, a, a, a simple cover zero. But um, I feel like we've done a great job preparing for, you know, all the different looks that they might throw at us. Uh, Ray, you want to chime in about the home opener, just uh, not having to leave school, but yeah. Um, so yeah, always excited to get in front of our fans. Um, it's always cool coming out of the tunnel, see the smoke. Uh, it's also, I'm pretty sure we got like the, it's like the military appreciation game or something like that. So we got jets flying over the field. And you're like, oh, well, yeah, this, this, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pumped right now. So yeah, no, that's always a good time. Uh, you know, people cheering for your name. Um, yeah, no, you're home, don't have to do much, no, no traveling, always ready to go, always, you know, ready to play at the brick house, so yeah. Uh, Josiah, without getting into specifics, can you give us kind of a percentage of how much of this offense we didn't see last week and <laughs> how much more you guys have worked on and tried and, and done in practice that maybe you didn't have an opportunity to show last Saturday? Um, I'll just say it's going to be very exciting. It's going to be very exciting very soon. Hey, Ray, um, uh, St. Francis showed a little up-tempo against yeah. Akron. How prepared will you guys be for that, having gone up to <laughs> your offense? Yeah, well, uh, with even with our offense and even last game with UVA, um, we'll definitely be ready for up-tempo. Uh, yeah, last week it was hot. They were moving the ball quick, moving down the field. Uh, I thought they had a, like a third drive was like a 15 play drive and a 12 play drive, and they were hurry up the whole time. So I mean, I think we're well prepared, we're well conditioned for that. We'll kind of, you know, if they go a little bit of it, we'll be uh, ready for it. But uh, so it's not something that we really are worried about. But it's we're, we're prepared for it. We're we've been doing it the whole camp during the season. Yeah, so we're good. Ray, your role changes a lot this year. How do you view it as the elder statesman on that group and, and keeping guys straight? Um, you know, it, obviously there's like some challenges that come with it. Uh, it's a whole new defense for some people. Like Matei's never dealt with this defense, Carson. And we just got to stay on top of it mentally. And, you know, as a person that knows the defense really well and making sure that these guys get in the film room, taking the good notes in uh, meetings, that's one thing I you know, really harp on with our players and with our guys. Um, so it's definitely a new role that I'm, you know, haven't been used to. Even with Kobe, I mean, Kobe never really had to deal with me or Aid and you know, like not knowing the stuff in the playbook because you know we've been here forever. These are young guys, like not that much experience, and that's something that you know this is always a problem that comes with it is like just not knowing exactly what you're doing. But these guys are, I think, they're maturing very quickly and they know what they're doing. And um, yeah, no, they 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 know what they're doing. They're figuring it out pretty quickly, so we're good in that aspect for sure. Hey Ray, the, the guy behind you Saturday had 19 tackles. Do you, do you <laughs> notice that? I mean, are you starting to funnel players, you know, to him? Do you feel that like he's he's hot, like Josiah can get hot and catch eight passes? Is Tristan getting hot? That's, that's <laughs> so hot. yeah, I mean, I, I didn't even so I, obviously I go on the game. I just go on the ESPN app, look at the stats. I'm like, oh my god. Tristan had 19 tackles. I'm like, I go up to him, I'm like, bro, you had 19. He's like, yeah, yeah. It's like, just like, doesn't even care. I'm like, he's like, you're keeping me clean. I was like, I guess so. If you're getting free all that time, but uh, there's even one time like a UVA tight end like try to block Tristan or blindside him. I'm like, run down the field, and 
you know, I kind of shoved him pretty hard and like I'm like yeah and Tristan's like oh thanks bro I'm like I gotta keep you clean man so that's one thing I definitely take pride in is like taking on blockers uh make sure those linebackers have you know good fits to go through and make the tackle so um yeah that's definitely that's a big role for me you know making sure that Tristan is able to make those plays and put our team in good position make sure we're in our gap gap sound and uh yeah just playing our defense for sure yeah